old stuff, the memories, the comparisons, the thinking one is secure, or the feeling which is an old, totally unexamined feeling, but one thinks one is secure in knowing what's happening. Which very often we need for our day to day. Very often we know that to know what's going on and where we're going and in your job. But then there are areas where it's so separative and totally out of place. It doesn't do anything except hold us in a shell, paralyzed. Tell me, did you feel that? that by that question, Tony was implying that, you know, can one abstain from doing yes. that? That that meant one had to do it all the time, or that that it wasn't like an open question, but, because that's just a question, you know, can one do it this moment? No, um, I, I took the question seriously, and it, oh. I don't know that I, I have a great deal of trouble doing that, abstaining from, the, the thoughts come in, and I very easily get, off to the in thoughts and then and the judgments and it's like um, the word abstaining is a dangerous word yeah. like all words are. yes um, it has uh, the air of but resolving. even refrain or so I, I understand what you're I mean I think I understand what you what the seeing is the you, mean, you see the whole consequence of going back into that thing yeah. you see it at one glance and he, it's it's the end of it but seeing something as a consequence seems to be getting into thinking again, or is it just Don't worry it whether it's thinking, thinking or not. Well, it, it's clear that if I uh, start fantasizing, I'm not here with my two feet on the mat. Whether there's thought in it or, or memory, there may be some memory in that. It's no problem. It, it, it means it's just you a, leave that. It's you just such that. a relief to leave it. Yeah, you know, it's just like getting back you with yourself. To get into this, yeah. And here is this and this and all driving or walking or, or eating. Rob saying that Tony is it is it if you're seeing if you're seeing what you're doing um, and that it has consequences, all the consequences of that. Yes. And therefore you no you didn't say abstain, but then uh, then you don't you don't yeah, you don't do that. There is a split there whereas if the seeing is simply seeing there's no there's no well thinking I'm seeing anyway that there's no thought of consequences, there's nothing. The consequences present them, they're there. You see. It is what it is right at that moment. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know, uh, you, something comes up, you want to make a clever remark. But you see, it's at the expense of other people. If you don't see it, then you make that clever remark. If, if you see that, now if there's some thought involved or not, then maybe that, that's, that's not the problem. It's, Seeing and, 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 and not, not continuing, right? there has to be no saying, well, I shouldn't be doing this, it's bad. And, uh, so there's this difference between a, a moment of seeing something clearly and then trying to explain it. In other words, you, you there's a perception of something and it's clear mm -hmm. and and, and something follows from that, or something doesn't happen as a result of that, or something. It's, and that's just the end of it. And the minute, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of thinking back to what Mary was struggling with, trying to, something happens and that's the end of it, and then we try to understand it so that the next time we can prevent it from happening again or so that we have some security in this thing that we call, well, now I understand how it happened, <coughs> so now I'm safe But to, these to sit, sit down after something horrendous like this happened that she's been describing, and to, to just sit down and let this whole thing mm -hmm. unfold. So what really happened? Mm -hmm. Not in order, I want to put right. this down in my record mm -hmm. so I can refer to it and learn from it, and the next time it won't happen. This is all extra, but to just let this thing really unfold itself on, on, once more, one looks at it with no pu purpose, just it's still there, it's still churning me. 
That's not that's natural. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are natural kinds of things like that. You know, it's just when we get stuck. With that. I guess I'm having a problem. I'm having a little trouble with what has gone on today for me <clears throat> in trying to talk about in trying to put words to some events or some condition and the words not being clear enough not being I mean, we talked about this the other day how there's a an over concern with words and then maybe there's not enough concern mm -hmm. with words and trying to find the balance you know how to communicate with people and there's some loneliness in that for me I mean it, it all it relates I Why? mean because you want to be <coughs> a very good communicator no I think the and I'm not saying no I wouldn't say that too uh, fast either because we do want to. Well, let me try to express <laughs> let me try to express what it is for me, so I don't have to say no. Hmm. Um, it's it's got something to do with I don't want to be jumped on right now. I feel like I really want to get this thought out. It's it has to do with the times that we do connect with other people. And a lot of times we do connect with them because we share experiences. Is it always verbal? Well, no, but I'm talking about when it is now. It isn't always verbal. And the words sometimes have nothing to do with that, with that connection. But we may use words to communicate with other people, but sometimes the words create misunderstanding. And that's the part that concerns me. Each person has their own images, and, and, and you're not really connecting, right? Yeah. And, and, and it's such a beauty when you do connect, but you want to know how can you make it happen. And there's a sadness that comes when it doesn't, it doesn't happen. happen. And, and that's what I'm feeling now is some sadness that, for me, that I, uh, there was, an attempt, not an attempt, but there was a communication that was attempting to happen that didn't happen, and then the sadness comes in, and then there's this feeling of, uh, you know, some something's off or something's not quite right. Let me ask you, how do you know that you weren't understood? that what you said was not understood, that there wasn't a connection. A connection always meaning not the words, but understanding, listening. What that, what that says to me is that I'm concerned with the, this result of, of being understood, that I'm depending on being understood in order to feel like I've connected with that person, instead of just Allowing whatever <coughs> is expressed to just be expressed and go, and, yeah. and then just be and then not, not okay in the middle of yeah. all that. There's this sense of without understanding that I'm not complete. Yeah. Or somebody has not understood you, mm -hmm. and that's okay. Can you understand that person who doesn't understand? Understanding meaning just there, mm -hmm. there she is, there he is, just like that. And if there's no, I wonder, I don't wonder, I, and there's no yeah. disappointment or mm -hmm. elation, oh, I was mm -hmm. really understood mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then there's, there's really profound understanding. Somebody may not understand you, but do you understand? What about the moments when I don't understand, and when I see that and have to deal with that? Yeah. Like it's, oh, yeah, it's that then. <laughs> yeah. oh, and, and, then. and then to watch that one doesn't quickly, Give the Chris put it, you know, the good verbal explanations for it or, uh, stuff, but really enter into this, into this perplexity of not understanding, which is a tremendously valuable thing. We hate it. 
<laughs> so defend, so humbly. Humbly. Yeah. It's the greatest thing can happen to, to one, to be humble. Mm -hmm. But I don't mean in a... Not put down, but just... To, humble. Yeah. With this, you're connected with everybody. Yeah. And that's really the state of really not knowing. I really and don't seeing know. all that yeah. stuff. Should we leave it here for so today? I would like to ask one question. Can a person who is really, really, really caught up in fear uh, and being caught up in fear, always having the fear of feeling this fear even stronger, is it possible for a person who has this kind of thing going on, uh, is it possible for that person to see at all? Because what I feel is so important in order to be able to see is, in many ways, in a very deep way, to be able to surrender to whatever there could be seen. And this in itself is such a way of really making a deep jump into something which you do not know what is. Now you have two main things in there. One is, is it possible for a person who's totally swamped, flooded with fear to see? Obviously not. Yeah. But if you say, can that person question this whole thing? Questioning this whole state, which is devastating, killing, whatever you, whatever description, the description is never how it really feels. What is this? And then I ask you, who's surrendering? Who's surrendering to what? You're using the word surrender. Maybe what you mean is not a duality, but it could very easily be, I shall, I will surrender to that. Well, maybe to put it that way, that. Uh being in our small eyes a lot of the time, I mean being identified with ourselves mm -hmm. in our small eyes, to take this jump to uh, open up and... Who's sorry. taking the jump, Murray? If you say, wait a minute, I'm just using words, I don't mean it this way, then I'll, I'm with you. I'm with you anyway. <laughs> but, you know, we have heard so much, take a jump, take a leap, jump off the hundred foot thousand pole. We've <laughs> 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 forgotten how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what keep, makes for some of the paralysis. I'm supposed to jump now, <laughs> but here I am, how can I jump? Or else I will jump and one does some stupid. <laughs> it's not the same beat, but walking on. Or <laughs> but I see in myself uh, different, uh, different uh, states of being. There are some times where I feel very tired and I really feel a big resistance, you know, just mm -hmm. to, you know. And other times, I, when I do have this feeling again, it comes to me uh, that I should somehow loosen up and I think that in the very beginning it somehow becomes a conscious act that I allow myself to do it. and I think that's maybe what I'm talking about when I talk about uh, taking the jump because I'm not afraid of, of loosening up because I have tried and I have seen what it is and it's good but if a person is very uh, very caught up in fears and terrors uh, there might be this, but that is what you said. You said that person will not be able to see. No, but, but you can ask. What is yeah. it? If you want a quick result, you're in trouble. <laughs> it's, the questioning has no time to, no time. Quick or long, what is it? Who? 
But wouldn't a person who really has this kind of problem with fear, wouldn't it be necessary for that person for some time to work on this fear uh, with somebody who knows about, uh, I mean, how a thing like that, like a fear so terrible as Mary described, how a fear like that could come up where it uh, could have its root. Uh, but you see, you have to leave that to that person. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. It's six to now. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> 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 <laughs>